Brown versus the Board of Education was influenced by Oliver Brown's daughter, Linda Brown, after she was refused admission to an all-white elementary school. As a result, Oliver Brown filed a lawsuit against the Board of Education in 1954, claiming that racial segregation in public schools was wrong and unconstitutional. This case resulted in an anonymous vote in favor of Brown, which ruled that separate educational facilities are inherently unequal. During this time and age, they were fighting for segregation and the equal opportunities that both white and black children deserve. Segregation was the main factor of what this case was initially trying to fix, but it goes deeper than that. The suit was for equal opportunities for all individuals, including those with learning disabilities. The ruling in Brown was the start of changes in, edu in education for those of color and those with disabilities. Brown versus Board of Education positively impacted children and families of disabilities by granting access to public education, which they didn't have access before. After the ruling, many families with a child with disabilities use this case for their arguments of why their child deserves equal education as everyone else does. Although there wasn't a huge change after the ruling in Brown versus Board of Education, but this was the milestone of the start of the fight against corrupt education in children with disabilities.